Note to Self is essentially a collection of personal thoughts turned quotes, and they're my personal thoughts turned quotes, um, and they're just things that I've thought up at various stages in my life that I've just written down um, that I found to be true, and they're about everything, um, everything in this life, and I'm not shy about it. My favorite chapter in the book is definitely dreams. It's the first chapter for a reason. And um, I just, oh, I'm such a dream driven person and I love helping people get to where they wanna be. I think the chapter that excites me the most though is life. Um, just because it's such a wide array of quotes and I think everybody will find something that resonates with them within that chapter and it just kind of gives this all-encompassing look into like when we zoom out and we look at the big picture like what really is life what is it about the chapter that was the scariest to write um love just because it's it's about intimate things and it's about an intimate experience and um you want to protect that naturally um, and also when you're writing about heartbreak, you want to protect those people too. So, um, it's weird to think that people will read this <laughs> and possibly know what it's about. So it's, it just, it was the most vulnerable. It was a little bit of both. I'll try to tell the story as swiftly as possible. Note to self started as a note in my phone as a writer things and lines and like dialogue and thoughts come at you a mile a minute and when you're out and about you are just like wherever I can write it down and so it kind of started as that where they were all separate notes but then I was like why don't I just compile it into one called note to self and then every time I have a thought it's like I go that to that note and it's just like the next line of thought that I write and I never really knew um, what I was going to do with it I thought it'd maybe be like a brainstorm pot or a place to draw from um, when I write, because I, I write blog posts sometimes, um, if I write a personal essay, but they just kind of all sat there until one day I decided to do something with it. Oh, uh, thanks for the question, Mom. Um, okay, so I just kind of flipped through really quick. Uh, there is, there's more than one, I think, um, but I really like these two. Um, there was some, I had, I've been having a lot of trolls lately. Um, so I like this one. Are you really going to let what someone thinks of you ruin your day? That one. No, I won't. And then this one. I love when people are shitty. It's a divine reminder to lean to the people in my life who aren't. So I'm going to do just that. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. My first inclination when I started putting this together as my target audience was completely ridiculous and wrong. And I really thought only women re would relate to this. I thought that they'd pick it up and say, I totally feel this. Um, but it, really, it's for everyone. My friend Jeremy was like, why didn't you send it to me to read? So I sent it to him and he was like, holy crap. Like the way I view the world and my work right now is entirely different. I needed this. And so that really opened my eyes to the fact that like, I'm not gonna project this to one person. I think anybody who wants to pick it up can read it and we'll get something out of it. This book has 1000% taught me that not everything needs to be a statement and some things are just better posed as a question. And also another thing this book has taught me is that now I have to be a woman of integrity and I have to live up to my word every single day because it's all in writing now. So anybody can call me out pretty terrifying. It is a f ton of work. I didn't know that <laughs> going in. <laughs> it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. I, I don't know if I wanted to write a book. I just felt like my whole life I felt like I needed to write a book. I think writing is part of me. They say everybody has a book in them and I think um, it's kind of whether you need to, to do it or you don't. But there's a story that everyone has to tell. And I'm happy that it took form in this way for my first. Oh, I love this question. I think it can mean a lot of things, but um, 
this is kind of how I take it. Um, I'm gonna read one of my favorite quotes in the book and it's, everything in your life has undeniably prepared you for this very moment. I think that every time I get nervous before I do something um, big or small, I just think like, there's no other person for the job than me. Like, this is why I'm here. This is why I'm doing it. This is why I was put in my heart. Um, and so yeah, that is my special moment every time it happens. I say, this is my special moment. And um, that quote definitely helps me every time. When the pandemic started, I was going through my notes and I thought of all my options for my books. And I was like, this is the one. Note to self is gonna be it. It's gonna come together. So the thing that the book taught me on a larger scale about life is that um, things aren't really meant to be picked up once. Um, I think so much in life, we're supposed to pick it up again and again um, because humans are a lot like dogs. I think we get distracted and we get confused and like someone can throw a ball and we get it and then there's another ball and then we chase that and like sometimes we just need reminders um, because we aren't perfect and we do have a short attention span and that's why I call these reminders um, because they're simply there to just bring out what's already inside of you. I say it in my book, um, there's a quote in the book, something along these lines, but nothing, nothing at all. I wouldn't want to know anything that I know now, because if I knew it now, I probably wouldn't have done this. So uh, we, we find out things when we're supposed to, and that's that on that. Yes, I am going to have a book signing, and... Um, I'm going to be in Virginia Beach on launch day, which is my hometown. So we're setting something up. Stay tuned for all updates. Subscribe to my newsletter. So it's bit.ly slash note to self newsletter. Link is always in my bio or just text me, message me, DM me, tweet me for it. Um, but yeah, be ready next Saturday, the 20th. I'll be there. So I also kind of save this till the end. Um, to reward all of you who watch all of this content, but you can't pre-order with self-publishing, but my team and I, they're all amazing. We've come up with a way to give our newsletter peeps early access. So if you're subscribed to the newsletter, you will get early access. I won't tell you when, but you just got to sign up and you can get the book before Saturday, next Saturday, the 20th when it comes out. My biggest hope for Note to Self is that people just see themselves in it. It's intentionally pretty elusive, and um, you can probably see some of my stories in there, but I really just want you to see your stories in it. So um, that's why they're only quotes and nothing else.